Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Jenny Hall. Thanks for joining me for another card making tutorial. Today I'd like to share a card that has a masculine anniversary theme. I'm stamping with Best Birds stamp set and I will be using the Birds and Blooms Thinlet Styes. This is one of the tried and true in my craft stash and it's a very easy go-to for wedding, birthday, anniversary, thinking of you, even sympathy. This is probably one of the most well-rounded bundles that I go to in my craft supplies. To use all of the paper today, I am going to make sure consciously that I don't go too girly or too feminine. Being as this card is geared toward a male, I don't want it to be too too much. I don't want too much shine, too much glimmer, too much of whatever would make it unattractive to a guy. <laughs> and there are so many different guys that like so many different things out there that there's enough uh, in my craft supplies where I can gear it to get to some guy to like. <laughs> I was aiming for my husband as it was recently our anniversary. So this is the card I made for him. And also, just as a side note, my husband is colorblind or color challenged. So a lot of the colors that I chose today were geared to be able to work with what he can see and how he sees color. I will be doing a video in the near future on how to plan card making projects or gift giving projects that we create as crafters for people that are colorblind because often it's not something that we give a lot of thought to. So in creating this card, I did actually put thought into what colors my husband can see. So I'm going with neutral color themes. And one thing that I take into account whenever I am creating for someone who co is color challenged is that if there is an element in my design, I wanna make sure that if it's red as a different color, then it's okay. That the birds are stamped onto blue paper, but if it reads off as a different color, it's all right. And the same thing with the flowers. So I've chosen all of the colors in the pattern paper to work nicely together. I'm adding a lot more gold embossing to this project than I normally do because with it being a masculine theme, on a holiday card or anniversary card, it's okay to have some gold sparkle without, as long as I don't go a little too far with the sequins, then I'm still in my safety zone for creating for a guy, especially for my husband, because I don't want it to be a little bit too much. I want it to, I want it to be appealing to him. So I'm going to use both of the bird stamps in the Best Birds bundle. And one is, of course, to represent the male bird and the other to represent the female bird. I have not used them in this way before, and honestly, I'm surprised that it never occurred to me <laughs> because one definitely looks significantly different from the other. To create a peekaboo to the inside of the card, I have used one of the scalloped circles from the layering circle dies, and this is going to allow everything on the inside to be seen from the outside. Therefore, my greeting is perfectly fine to be on the inside of the card and the front of the card is kept more plain and neutral. So there's the greeting on the inside. And I'm going to add just a few of the mini sequin trim. You guys know I love the mini sequin trim. So this is a very easy card idea and it's a little something different. It's a peek through, so that would make it a little more fancy without going over the top. Thank you for joining me for this card tutorial. Please remember that all of the supplies are available in my online store and I do appreciate your support with your purchase. Thanks again for joining me today. I'll see you in the next video. 
Thanks for watching the video. Have a good day.